Hi, hello, welcome back. My name is Devaraj, and uh, today I want to look at, uh, I'm just looking down at my little laptop, to answer a question about anger generally and about emotional expression because a lot of people send me questions in, and this one seems to cover quite a few of them. And uh, this chat, Majahed TV, says, Would it be possible to do a video on kicking, hitting, expressing anger exercises? Uh, do you make yourself angry and hit? Or, or make yourself angry during the hitting. Does it matter if the anger is based on a personal or imagined exercise? How do you cope with emotions that come up during the hitting? Good questions. And the kind of questions that um, I hear quite a lot from people who want to work with emotional expression. And it's something I want to get clear first of all. Which is, uh, I'm teaching on this YouTube channel mostly bioenergetics and uh, not so much emotional expression, and there's a reason for that, and there's a reason why you won't find so much useful, good information about emotional expression on social media platforms, is because mostly it needs to be done in, with, with people who are experienced, you know. Bioenergetics, it's a little bit more, it doesn't go quite so fast into feelings sometimes, and it's more integrative, it's opening and integrative at the same time. And so not everyone agrees, but for me, it's fairly safe, I think, to teach it on uh, social media. But emotional expression, when you're going right into the anger or the woundedness, often, one, you need other people around, uh, people to hug and feel close to, and also to get some level of social connection, and also people who are experienced, you know, you know, you know therapists, people who've worked in this area. Uh, because otherwise, it's just not really very easy or safe to do it. And I meet people who come to my workshop sometimes who say, I've been doing emotional expression for years in my room or whatever, and it's okay, but usually there's something quite blocked in there, you know, you need guidance with this stuff, usually when you start, you know, and it's not to totally put you off from, from people off from going for it, but it's just as a bit of a warning, a bit of a caveat, you know, because it's important that you also get some professional assistance with this stuff. And that, of course, is not easy, you know, the world we live in, if you're doing this kind of work, you're quite advanced in a way because the world we live in does not really facilitate that. It's coming much more from the mind in Western culture and emotions. We haven't really got there yet. And the therapists that are successful, that have got, you know, letters after their names, uh, you know, they're usually not working with feelings. They're usually very good with their mind. And often that in itself is a strategy to avoid feelings. And then you become successful, you know, and you've got a PhD in clinical psychology or whatever, but you don't necessarily really feel a ton of stuff or can guide people in deep emotional process work. That's not covered in those kind of, you know, university education. So it's not easy to find someone, but if it's meant to happen, you can. I do Skype sessions also, and I'm happy to give a, give a hand. Okay, I won't babble on and get lost on a sidetrack completely. So let's look at these questions about anger. You want to start to work with anger. You maybe feel angry or you feel like anger's a bit blocked. And, you know, you can just get into your car and scream and shout and make a big racket or find somewhere where you can make a lot of sound. It's good if you have someone around that you can hug afterwards. If you're a guy, a lot of, a lot of people who watch my channel are guys in their 20s and they might feel a little bit, oh, I don't want to do that, but it's really healthy. It's really, really healthy. It helps to heal and take a little time to hug and feel afterwards. Because when you work with anger, what happens is other feelings come up. Maybe some of you notice this, you know, sadness, you know, the wounds from the past come up. And it's great to be able to release those feeling close to someone. Da -dum -dum -dum. I'm going to do, would it be possible to make a video on hitting and kicking? I'm going to do one on nice guy stuff soon, which is more bioenergetics, but with some expression. 20 minutes you can do in the morning. Do you make yourself angry and then hit or get angry during it? And does it matter if the anger is based on a personal or imagined exercise? Well, those are both the same question in a way, as I see it. The bottom line is with anger, you can fake it till you make it, basically. You know, a lot of people come to anger workshops that I run and say, I don't get angry, you know, or I've been really angry, you know, for the last week. But now that I'm doing the anger exercise, I'm not feeling angry anymore. Don't worry about this bullshit. You just fake it till you make it. Because emotions finally are autonomous, you know. It's only this egoic holding that's, that's blocking our emotionality. Most people sit on 90% of their feelings, ramming them down into the back line of the body. So there are feelings inside of you, unless you've got severe ne neural damage. You know, basically, and it'd have to be pretty severe, you know, so um, without going into all that stuff. Basically, you will have a ton of feelings inside. It's just finding a way to open up and then safely get into it so that you can also 
integrate it at a speed which is uh, okay for you, you know. So with, uh, with the, um, you fake it till you make it, okay? You just try. You know what an angry person looks like, so you get in that thing, ah, whatever, you know? And he maybe, I'm not really feeling it or whatever. Don't give too much attention to those ideas and stories. The feelings are finally autonomous. We make very precious things about our emotionality up here in the brain. But, you know, it's finally autonomous. It's not really happening to anyone. It's just a powerful thing that you experience as part of your energy flow in life. So anger is cool in that therapeutic sense and don't get too much into the I don't have anger story. You just fake it till you make it. And then we had a last question. How do you cope with emotions that come up during the hitting? The bottom line is to try and feel and share because it is natural when you really get an ang a release of anger, like you express the anger, you feel sad underneath. Some more wounds come up. It's how the psyche works, layers of anger and woundedness. And to get deeper, you have to allow both, you know. If you just want to be an angry motherfucker the whole time, it's not really so great. And if you just want to be collapsing into wounds the whole time, it's also not such a great life. You do both and you, the intention to clear it out, to get the anger out, so the, the holding can come out of the body, and to get the sadness out, so the dead areas, the holding also can come out. And you can feel more alive, more in your belly and more in your heart. So thank you Majid TV for that question. I'm just checking, is there anything I haven't really covered? I'll do some more stuff, but generally work gently with anger. And if you can do it with a friend who's also into this, do that, you know, take a turn. Each of you trying to bash for cushions. There's some exercises on my channel and, you know, give a hug to each other. Take, you know, it's, it's, it's nice. And uh, feel free to share any of your experiences. Okay, that's enough for me for today. Hope you have a good Christmas and New Year. We're coming up to that time. And um, bye for now.